I'm Zoe and I'm one of the farmers. The other farmer is Chris, he's a grumpy farmer. And what we're gonna do is just film what we get up to. So you'll meet the animals, you'll meet the goats, you'll meet the sheep, you'll meet the cows, you'll meet Indy, of course, the dog, and you'll just basically follow us around all day because I know a lot of you don't get to go to the farm very often because you're at school. So I thought, just come with us. So, come on. Right, that's enough sitting around. Let's go. Here, we have the calves. So I act as their mummy and I give them their milk, I make their bed, I give them their food and all they really want is milk, don't you? I'll show you how I give them their milk. You might have even seen your mum do this, your baby brother or sister, and then you just whisk it up, let me show you, whisk it like you would a cake, until there's no lumps, you don't want any lumps in there because it'll upset their tummy, so you want it to be like the milk you have on your cereal. They're hungry, they're screaming at me like you scream for your dinner. How old do you think these babies are? Because they're quite big, they probably weigh, probably weigh the same as me. They're quite heavy. How old do you think they are? Right, I think they finished their breakfast now. Oh, no, on slow coach. Come on, slow coach. You are probably wondering why they're with me and I'm feeding them their milk rather than with their mum. And the reason is their mum is used to make milk that you will have on your cereal, milk that you might have before you go to bed. And so the mum makes the milk that you drink. And then I feed these guys their milk. So they're basically sacrificing their milk for you. Um, which sounds a bit complicated when you think about it, but actually, they're absolutely fine they're happy with us and it's just one of those things that that happens in life um and yeah i would like to talk to you about it in more detail and go and visit a dairy farm so where they make the milk um so we can talk about it and talk to people that know a lot more about it than i do and then we also give them this food 
because all different grains they love it absolutely love it those cheeky goats are trying to steal their breakfast Jesse and the sheep they're all trying to steal their breakfast Jesse naughty girl They're all at it. Hello. Oh, look at that mucky pup. Now they're sucking my hand because they think they're going to get more milk out there. You can see the tongue. Can't see very well. The tongue wraps around the teat and then sucks it so that the milk comes out. So the mum would have a teat that looks like that, really, that it's sucking. Um, and then its tongue sucks around it like yours did when you was a baby see look thinks my thumb's a teat not going to get any milk out my thumb though are you now they all just snog each other to get the milk off of there so on their mum the udder is underneath here so when they finish their milk to try and get more milk they do that to one another at this one trying to get some out my hand but you see there so on their mum that's where the udder and that's where the milk would come from so they do it to each other to try and get more milk but obviously they won't get any more milk off each other hello we've got a little bit of a cough there hey cheeky Now they've had their milk, I've got to go and get them some water in case they're thirsty um, and then some hard food. Look at those goats in there. They're so naughty goats, aren't they? And then I'll get them some hard food for while I'm gone and then I'll be back to give them some more milk tonight. Um, so what's done? So it's very cold tonight, so I've got to make sure they've got loads of this, which is their bedding, and this is straw. And in the summer, we'll talk about how to make straw, but it just keeps them warm. So it's nice and fluffy for them when they snuggle down and go to bed. So they drink their milk twice a day, once in the morning and then once at night. Um, they're quite big now. So they are six weeks, I think, six weeks old. Um, and they'll stop having milk at like eight or 12 weeks. Uh, I enjoy looking after them because they're very cute and they usually jump around and get giddy after they've had their post milk poo, which you can see that one's tail is up, ready to have a poo. You see it? That is a healthy poo. Oh. So that's a healthy poo. If they get upset tummies, it can get a little bit runny, not very nice. But I know you're probably all obsessed with poo, so I'll probably do a whole episode on poo later on. Because I'm a little bit obsessed with it too. So that's it for the first ever one. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. You can also like and comment. Um, if you click the bell apparently it means that you can be notified when a new video comes out i'm going to try and get them out fairly regularly um so we can stay in the groove but if you've enjoyed it then my work here is done what i would like you to do if you could is for the next one so in between now and when the next one is out if you would be able to just tell me what two things the cows eat, the little cows, calves, eat and drink and what they have as their bed. So what they have as their bed in. If you could just do that and then I'll see you next time.